Hello guys, Agile Fox here. Today we're going to take a look at the top five most expensive booster boxes. Now all of these prices are correct at the time of publishing. I'm using trollandtoad.com as a guideline, but I'll also be using websites like eBay to see if there are any recent sales that we can touch on. So without further ado, let's dive in. Number five. So coming in at number five, we have Neo Revelation. The set was released in English on September 21st, 2001 and purchasing a first edition box is going to set you back $12,500. Yeah. The set features artwork from Mischievous, Raikou, Entei and Suicune. Shining Magic Carp and Gyarados are the two main chase cards in the set. But I couldn't not mention these three because they are just beautiful. But if you manage to pull a Shining Magic Carp in Gem Mint 10, you are laughing because one just sold on eBay for the equivalent of $1,700. Big money. Number 4 Next up we have Neo Genesis, that's right! The set released in English on December 16th, 2000 and if you want to get your hands on one of these bad boys in first edition, it's gonna cost you almost $1400. Now there are a whole host of beautiful cards in this set, but this magnificent creature is going to net you a pretty penny. If you manage to pull this Lugia as a Gem Mint 10 first edition, it is worth thousands of dollars. I couldn't find a recent example of one selling, but a PSA 9 sold just the other week for $1,600, so you can only imagine what a PSA 10 would sell for. Number 3 So for this one, I'm going to call on help from another Poketuber. What's up guys, Cameraman Pokemon here. Let's talk about Neo Destiny. In my opinion, one of the best sets ever created. Released in 2002, this was the last set that got a first edition print run, making it extra special. It also has the only appearance of light Pokemon. Just look at how beautiful that Arcanine is. Aww. The set revolves around a potential path or destiny a Pokemon can follow depending on how it's brought up by their trainer. So next to light Pokemon, the dark Pokemon also make a return in their set. My favorite, the dark Gengar. A booster box goes for almost around $18,000! Wow! I would be able to buy a lot of low tab cars for that price. Why is this set so valuable? Next to the beautiful dark and light Pokemon, you also have Shinings. And not just a couple, no, you can fight 8 Shinings in Neo Destiny! And yes, you guessed it! It has a shining Charizard, making it one of the most sought after sets in Pokemon TCG. And if you're lucky and you're able to get that first edition shining Charizard in a PSA 10, it can go for a whopping $5,000. Now that's a lot of money for some shiny cardboard. Which booster box can top this set? Thanks so much for your help there, cameraman Pokemon. That was some really in-depth analysis and I definitely learned a few things I didn't know. But without further ado, the question you asked at the end, let's find out. Number two. In second place, we have Sky Ridge, the final expansion released by Wizards of the Coast. Sky Ridge was released in English on May 12th, 2003 and will set you back a whopping $32,500. Now maybe you've just seen that and you thought, sweet, where can I buy one? Well, there is one on eBay right now, if you've got a spare $40,000 hanging about. But Sky Ridge is home to some rather wonderful cards, and if you've got them in a Gem Mint 10, they're worth a lot of money. Take for instance some examples here. But also, on a personal note, it's home to one of my favourite Genkar cards, Stunning. Number 1 and the number one most expensive booster box is of course the original first edition base set booster box, the holy grail, the place where it all begun, and that's if you can even find one in the first place. But the price Troll and Toad have for one of these bad boys is just ever so shy of $80,000. Now if you ever found yourself in the situation where you had one of these in your possession and you'd taken the decision to open it, then first of all you're crazy. But secondly, you'd want to follow in the footsteps of a certain Leon Hart who recently pulled the $55,000 first edition Charizard. 
guys thank you so much for watching if you're new here please do leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you again soon